Welcome back once again, gentlemen and ladies. You should be able to do duct work too, please. That is so cool. Um, this is basically crafting for testosterone-laden people. I mean, what do we do? We have sheets of stuff and we have some scissors and we have cute little markers. You can get these in all sorts of colors, mostly black. Uh, we use measuring tapes, sort of like what a tailor uses. So this is crafting. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Here's my craft room. So here what we're doing is we're assembling two pieces of rectangular duct. In some of the other videos I showed how to cut and assemble the ducts. This is a 90 degree elbow. I've already assembled this piece. Now I've got to put something on here. Um, this is an elbow and the elbow corner is formed with this little joint and it's got a, um, a little offset right here. So I guess I like the word little. So we're going to hammer off that offset to make later work easier. We're going to hammer that down. Hammer that down. We really want to do this side too. Uh, I'll do that offline because I don't have an anvil or any sort of piece of 2 by 4 here handy. Um, I've already prepped this one. I'll show you how now. The way these ducts go together, it's really quite ingenious. There's a drive clip, which is a C shape. So it's just bent up here and bent around here. And there's also an S cleat. And this is a couple of, it's basically an S. It has a little fold over here and a fold over there, but it's basically an S. The S slides right on top of a duct and the drive cleat goes on the side. I'll show you how in just a sec. Uh, I did notice I have not cut this out from the earlier video, so uh, we're rushing here on this whole thing. But I thought it was important to show folks how this is done. I really hadn't seen a lot of videos on how to assemble rectangular duct, so I'm hoping to rectum fry that. All right, this is something you absolutely want to buy. At 13 bucks, I think, at Home Cheapo. It's a um, folding tool. It has a 3 8 inch side and a 1 inch side, but we're going to use the 3 8 inch side. Go to the side of the duct, push, push that 3 8 inch gap down there, and flip that around. Try not to slice yourself open on the sharp edges. No matter how tough you think you are, you are just a soft pink bag of jelly. And you are no match for a piece of sheet metal. So uh, if you think you're really tough, have a few beers before you do this, and then you'll be sure you rip yourself open. All right. I haven't had my beers yet. It's only 10.20. I got a half, another 10 minutes before it's beer time, so maybe it'll be tequila today. I don't know. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> yet another mistake discovered, which is not clipping this out. See, when I'm doing videos, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. How do you like that? You're watching it. So we're going to clip that little chunk out right there. That leaves a nice little cutting spot. Alright, so now we flip these side ears over. If you remember, the drive clips has a, have a C-shape to them. <clears throat> the drive clips, we're just going to tear open this corner a little bit to get us started. See that? How we now have a little uh, lead-in. So if we take our S cleats, push them on the edges, there's the S cleats. We take this side, we line up the um, elbow into the S cleats. Come on, you little bastard. Get in there. There we go. Press it down. We hammered that little lap flat to make it easier to drive into the, the S clip right there. Okay. Now, those aren't lined up yet, but through the art of persuasion, we can get those lined up. We'll take this drive cleat here and we'll first fold it over. So I'm going to, I bent this end open, right? Now, just a sec. I'm going to flatten this out. So I have an L with a bent end open. I'm going to take that end, slide it over the two little flanges we made with the folding tool, persuade it through. You can get these at the thumb detection department at Home Depot. Just 
popped out a little bit. We're going to do the same thing on this side with another drive cleat. Once we're on this side, you remember all that ugly gap that we cut open here? Well, I'm going to take the hammer. Fold that shut. When we do the other side, you've got yourself a joint. And that's it. Thanks for watching.